Stairway to Heaven Arena never gets old. I love being here in Purgatory. And if you love Full Metal Mayhem, you might just want to spend the rest of your life here in Purgatory. I'd rather take the elevator to hell than spend another minute here. I bet my left nut on their last home game and literally lost half the family jewels in the transaction. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Atlanta Vultures take on the Full Metal Mayhem. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. And MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but the, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally crapping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. Hot, hot one. Second down and long. And this guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about 10 on that play. Hey, he makes up a name for himself every night. That's how he stays ahead of the bounty hunters. He's wanted in 50 states. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Remember, folks, in the MFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. See that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And that'll be second and eight to go. Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot eight. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Hot one. Eight. And then 
catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. I don't know if he can And it's first and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Third down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points and let's move on. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. It's a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. You can't keep a good mutant down. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Rex. Very smart. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life experience. He just slipped. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Uh, 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 
first down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw the real ball. Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. And it's first and ten. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Second down in a lot. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. It's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big port of John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Oh, nobody light a match. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a brutal hit! And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First down and seven. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Eight. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's farming down his guy to the speed thing, Grim. He's running from his team. It's clear. Well, why go for one when he could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, we're talking about points. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. It's first.
first and ten. Interception, and that's how you're stopping off. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. The receiver just got smashed. Not as bad as me last night. He may be dead, but trust me, he's in better shape than I am right now. Oh, geez, here it comes. Blah. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for yards. Third down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot Picks up four on that pass and catch. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade, Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second and three. loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Graham? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work tricks. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a... Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Hot two, hot Second down. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And he's, and he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? 
Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling death, time out. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. He is fighting for every... And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Oh, look at this guy. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First down and three. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing Boom! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Second down and long. Hot. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Oh. 
Second down and two. Shave a few days off his life. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and six. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. point but you never know with kickers <laughs> straight through the uprights here comes the kickoff let's see if the defense can hold them and that's a returnable ball returnable you mean he can get a refund for it no no bricks it means he can return it for you know what never mind And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Second down in a mile. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Third down in forever. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm cream. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, it's a punishing hit. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest. I don't see a chance in hell in here. And it's first and ten. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Second down in a lot. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third down and six. 
it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> He's got the distance, and the kick is good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Britch's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. First and ten. Call man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And he's dancing like a zonked out jam band enthusiast. Oh, that's how he spends his entire well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing.
And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. This guy's a brick shithound. Nice pickup for six yards. Third and four. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. First down and one. <laughs> Two minutes left in the game. Hang on. Second and three. point attempt straight through the uprights the teams are lined up for the kickoff he's gonna be able to run this one back I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. And he held on to that one for a first down. <laughs> and it's first and, and they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy! And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. First down is... They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors. Nine. And we need money more than they do. Nine. Nine. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And then put six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a thrown out good, Grim! You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. He'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. Usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Second 
Dan Dan That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Receiver and deflected the ball. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Oh, nice hit. That's the way you do it. Let him have it and then take it away. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim. Aren't we all. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all, Grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? Second down and four. Throw up the horns and throw up the W. Full Metal Mayhem win. After a stomping like that, the opposition may be a permanent part of the field. More like a graveyard, Grim. There are body parts everywhere. And speaking of body parts, that I have a tell well, you about. listen to the MVP. I'm sure he has something inspiring to say. Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.